In this video I'm going to show you how to use the HTML only mode or hosting only mode in your WebStarts account. As you can see I'm already logged into my account and I'm currently in what's called HTML only mode. That's a mode that lets you upload files, HTML files and other web pages that you might have built in programs like Dreamweaver, Front Page or some other offline editor. You can always switch back to our easy editing tools at any time by clicking on the settings tab and then navigating down to where it says switch to easy mode and clicking on the button there. But getting back to our HTML only mode, I click on my home link here and then I scroll down and I can see uh, a section where I can create new directories or folders. I can add new pages, delete, and then also manage my pages. So for this example, I'm going to upload some files uh, for a website that I've already built offline this, that includes some HTML web pages and also some images. I'm going to use the multi-uploader tool because I have a bunch of files that I need to upload and I'd like to do it all at once. Okay, so now I've opened up my web pages on my local computer and I'd like to upload them uh, one at a time to my WebStarts free hosting account and so I'm just going to select them and I'm going to upload them all at once by clicking the start upload button and it just takes a few moments for those to upload and we'll wait so looking in I can see that my pages are uploaded so now what I want to do is I actually want to create my images directory so my uh, pages will display my images properly so I'm going to click add new folder and then I'm going to name my directory images for those who don't know a directory or a folder are really just uh, one name or two names for the same thing um, I'm going to drill down to my images folder okay and then I'm going to go back to my multi uploader and I'm actually going to choose uh, the images out of my image folder on my local computer and upload these one at a time so once you have all your images selected you just click the start upload button again and then it's going to take a little bit of time to upload those images now once those images are uploaded because I've created uh, the appropriate directories on my free web hosting account my website uh, should uh, just look the way that I want it and the way that it also looks on my local computer so once I have all my images uploaded I can also create a directory for my CSS file so I'm gonna go ahead and click add new folder and I'm just gonna name that CSS and I'm gonna click OK and then my CSS folder is created I drill down into my CSS folder and then I'm just going to upload my CSS uh, file from my website. And once that's uploaded, it's going to apply changes to my site. All the while, I can view the changes that I make to my site by clicking on the link in the upper right hand corner of my web starts. Uh, web address. As you can see I still have a few images I need to upload to fill in those spots but that gives you a basic idea of how it works. Um, once you're happy with your website and you want to get serious about your online business, add a domain name, have matching email addresses and have your site submitted to search engines like Google, Yahoo and MSN, you'll want to click on the GoPro Now link here and upgrade your account to a pro account that'll allow you also to add your own custom domain whether uh, you choose a new one like your very own dot com or you use one that you had registered previously with another company so if you have any questions don't forget to come back to webstarts.com to make your very own free website and take advantage of our free web hosting and low-cost uh, web hosting solutions and to see more helpful videos